Hi, in this video you are going to see how to update the PHP on your WordPress site. WordPress just gave me this error, PHP, or just a, a warning, warning, a PHP update required. So the best practices for updating your PHP is to update all your plugins um, before you actually, that's what Word, uh, WordPress recommends. So but even before I update all the plugins, because as if you've used WordPress before, you know that sometimes when you update some plugins, some other things might not be compatible and it'll crash part of your site or you might not be able to log back into your WordPress, it'll log you out. Weird things happen sometimes. So what we are going to do is make sure that we back up our website before we do anything else. Yeah, so we go to plugins, add, uh, add new, when you go to plugins, and this updraft WordPress backup plugin seems like the best one. It's got over 2 million active installations, over 3,034 uh, five-star reviews at this point. So we are going to install now. Activate. See, workup. Welcome to Updraft Plus, the world's most trusted backup plugin. We're here to start. I've never used it before, so you guys are taking the journey with me. So make a simple backup to your server. Um, yeah, let's do that for next. Schedule your backup. Choose your backup schedule. Choose the schedule that you want your backups to run on. Files, backup schedule, manual. Manual. Yeah, manual. It's perfect. Um, now select a remote storage destination to protect against server wide threats. If not, your backups remain on the same server as your site. If not, your backups remain. Settings. All your backups in one place. Finish. So okay, so yeah, we're gonna go into settings, updraft plus backup settings, and um, we're gonna choose Dropbox. Good news, your site's communication with uh, Dropbox and be encrypted, blah, blah, blah. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, I'm not sure if it's a paid option, but let's see. So when I click Save Changes, Saving. Um, okay. Follow this to authorize access to your Dropbox. You will not be able to back up to Dropbox without it. Okay, so now uh, we're going to fill this out. Okay. Allow, complete setup for Dropbox. Uh, press the press button below. This will take you back to your updraft plus settings on the site. And you are able to uh, be able to send them. Dropbox success. You have authenticated your Dropbox account. Ryukasha. Right. So now let's click on backup now.
Okay, so yeah, it's uh, one, like one minute and 45 seconds and it just backed up and backed up the site. That was pretty fast. Okay, so it's backed up. So now, you know, even here on, uh, this is what WordPress this is recommends you back up your website, you update all your, all your WordPress themes and plugins. So let's go to plugins, boom, boom, boom. Bulk actions, we're gonna select Select all your plugins, bulk action, update. And now I'm gonna go through my list and look at the plugins that are not active. I should just delete them, but I was using a different theme before and I just wanna make sure I don't delete the wrong ones. So I'll look into that later. And we are going to apply So the PHP version is set on your server. So whoever's uh, hosting your site. So here uh, with this link, you'll find the list of hosts who have the instructions to how to do it by host. Uh, so I'm on HostGator. Pretty much all if you're on HostGator, all you have to do, and I'm sure it's very similar with all the other hosting, uh, go to PHP Selector. On the drop down menu, you select the version that you want. No custom PHP handler. This option will use the server default and remove any existing. This option will automatically use the latest version. What's the caution? If your site scripts rely on older functions of PHP, which are no longer which are no longer available in the latest stable version being used on the server, you may encounter com uh, compatibility issues when PHP cur is automatically updated. Click the module button. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to go to your website, so regular website www whatever your site is. And then at the end of it, you're gonna put a colon, not a semicolon, a colon, and then you're gonna uh, type in 2082 to log into your uh, cPanel, at least for uh, HostGator. It's going to take a minute. Okay, so I got an error. So let's try, uh, it's 2083. There we go. Yeah. Okay, well, I made it into uh, my host gator control panel. I made sure my uh, correct website was the one was choosing over here and now it's going to back up even though I just we just did the backup with the plugin. Well backup creates an archive of all of your website's files. You can sent to me for backup in progress. Okay. okay, so I also backed up the site on the host gator on the host gator control panel. So 
that's done. That took like uh, one minute, two, like two minutes, or like two, two, three minutes. Okay, so now we scroll down to software. And on software, now uh, we go to PHP selector. And um, yeah, this is the moment of truth. Right now, I'm running PHP 5.4. So we're going to try PHP Edge 7.1 and click on update. So let's see if uh, let's see if the site went on WordPress on the dashboard. Okay, now it's not giving me the PHP um, warning or message saying your PHP needs to be updated. But now the moment of truth is let's see if the site is running properly. Seems to be moving nice. I think actually the site is loading faster. All right, well, that's how you update the PHP. Uh, at least that's how I just updated the PHP for a WordPress website using HostGator. And I did, I did everything uh, the WordPress was prompting for you to do. Um, they have this uh, page, the update, the PH, update PHP page. Um, so I did everything that they said, which is make a backup of your website, which we did by downloading the plugin on WordPress. We also did that, or I also did that on the HostGator control panel, just for double security. Um, then we updated all the plugins for WordPress. You're supposed to update your theme and your plugins make sure everything's still running smooth. Then you're supposed to check your PHP uh, compatibility, which there is a plugin that you have to download. I did not do that, but obviously all of this is do this at your own risk. And uh, finally, it tells you to fix any PHP compatibility issues, which means any errors that would have popped up with that PHP plugin, but we did not install that. We didn't run that. And uh, yeah, our site is, PHP is updated on our site. And um, hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully you got some use out of this. It seems to have worked for me, which is great. Cause you know, obviously when you're doing web stuff and you're on the back end, you never know what's going to break what, you know, even if you're an expert, I'm sure you, you know, you really don't always know exactly what's going to happen. So this worked out pretty good, worked out smooth. And, uh, I didn't want to break the site and everything worked out great. So thanks so much for watching. Um, if the video helped you, please click a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Um, also, I know it was a long video, so thanks for bearing with me and um, have a good one.